perfect. Hey, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> Not much. How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm excited that you're here on the show. I'm looking forward to the fight next Saturday. It's gonna be awesome. I uh, do. I can't wait. <laughs> How are sure. you feeling? I feel great. I mean, training went really well. Um, it's been a, a short training camp, so no time to get injured. So I feel great. Nice. So over the quarantine, you've been training. Has that made training easier or more difficult being stuck at home? <laughs> no, it actually made it a lot easier. So because of quarantine, um, we weren't able to train like these large groups that we're normally training in. Um, so it had been like really, really um, isolated. So we're doing like small groups, three to four people. Um, and doing, doing that kind of setup for training. But it, I feel like it's been great. I mean, we, we've been to get one-on-one -on -one attention from all of our coaches, and it's been pretty hands-on from all the coaches. So um, it actually worked out really, really well during quarantine. Nice. That's good. Yeah, it seems like for that, with having more focus, time might help. So that's, that's awesome. So the upcoming fight this Saturday, can you tell me a little bit about that, what, um, who you're fighting, and then what happens if you win this fight? Yeah, so I'll be taking on a guy named Tony Martin. He's from uh, American Top Team down in Florida. Um, this fight's going to take place in Las Vegas on Saturday, June 6th. Um, and it's going to take place on ESPN and pay-per-view. Um, so the cool thing about this fight is it's one of those, like, um, the fights that moves you towards the rankings. So after winning uh, this fight on Saturday, uh, it puts you right back in the top 15 in the world uh, in order to move forward and challenge um, other guys who are ranked top 10, top 15 in the world as well. Nice. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. So can you tell me as a Christian, how do you, um, how do you bring in your faith into your career and into your fighting? How do you represent God? That makes sense. Um, the, 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 no, I mean, the cool thing is like, uh, I get to represent God and represent my faith in every single thing that I do. Um, whether it's the interviews leading up to the fight to how I carry myself um, in the fight itself, even though it could be it's such a brutal sport, um, the way that you choose to carry yourself in the sport it, uh, alone uh, can actually give a representation of that as well. Um, like it, it's a sport that where two men are out there competing against one another uh, for a prize at the end of the day. Um, but that it doesn't have to be anything more than that. I can still exhibit who I am um, in there competing against another individual. Um, and, and that part is really cool. But um, the other aspect of it is um, it, being a fighter, I'm allowed to travel the world uh, in order to compete. And I feel like every single uh, country that I've been able to visit, every single city I've been able to visit um, as part of the UFC or MMA, um, I've been able to come in contact with such great people um, and show them love and show them like just, uh, just grace for, for who they are and let them know that they're loved by people. Um, like I can remember five years ago now, fighting in the Philippines where um, you're walking around and there are literally um, women sleeping in the street with infants and toddlers at their feet. Um, so being able to um, provide those people with food and, and, and comfort and things like that that they need in their, in their worst moment, um, it, it feels like it's a, it's a blessing. You have to be um, where you need to be at that moment in order to be there for that individual. That's huge. Yeah, that can make such a difference. That's, that's awesome. I love that. Um, yeah. Well, I will be watching this Saturday. Rooting awesome. the best for you. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Um, I was hoping before, um, before we end this call, we could maybe do a push-up contest. Uh, <laughs> I have been carb loading today. I've had like three bowls of Lucky Charms, a bunch of Olive Garden pasta, so I feel feel pretty ready. That's awesome. Do you think Do you think you'd be up for that? Uh, sure. Let's do it. See what happens. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> here, let me re let me re I'll position my cameras here. I'll pick this up. What's your push up record? The the I was with you having done push ups in so long. Uh, back when I was oh, really? in Miami, I had. To yeah, I had to do push-ups like uh, for your part of your, your physical fitness test. So in like two minutes, I was able to knock out like a hundred push-ups. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> so you're saying I have a chance? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many push-ups do you think you can do? Uh, I don't know how we should do this. Should we just have you do it and then see what the number to beat will be? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, ready? All right, go for it. Okay, this is. So I'm locking in a number, then you lock in a number. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You'll set the standard and see what I mean. Okay, cool. <laughs> One. 
<laughs> then you've been training for this. Isn't that your first time? <laughs> uh, I, I haven't done any push-ups today. <laughs> What is that? 12. 12. 13. 14. You even have a counter. Cheater. 15, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Come on. I need those 20. pasta calories to kick in. Uh. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's all I got. What is that? 24. 24. <laughs> Oh, okay. thank God you stopped, dude. I was just getting worried for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 24. All right, here we Let's go. See this oh, thanks. Out. Put me on the spot a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, you can kind of see me. All right, yeah, 24 yeah. is number to do. Let's see. One, two, three, four, oh, five, dang. six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, oh, more. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, I'm done yeah, I love, love my odds for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, good game. First win of the week. You got him next Saturday. Oh, absolutely. Dude. I feel so ready. I mean, it's been a, a great opportunity to train leading up to this fight, and it's a, a great opportunity for myself and my family as well going out there to compete. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. That's awesome. All right. Well, tune in this Saturday to watch the fight. Well, oh, yeah, I need diapers, so. <laughs> I can't hey. let him down. <laughs> Just Even more guests. I love it. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Thanks for joining in the call. Appreciate your time. Ah, no problem, dude. Like We're rooting for you. you. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Thank you. You're awesome, man. Thanks for calling. No problem. Have a good one. You too. Thanks to all the people that made this happen. Check them out. Feel free to donate to the charities below. Check out anything I link to because it's all good stuff. And um, feel free to subscribe, ring that bell. Because every time that bell rings, an angel gets its wings. And you know, who wants a bunch of wingless angels walking around? That would just be weird. <laughs>